Hello everyone. Uh, this video I will show you how to syn synchronize the you know the additional attribute from the on-premise AD to the Office 365 Edge Cloud. Normally when we set up the AD Connect, we synchronize the normal user information like a username and uh, the display name, user principal name and other information. But if we want to you know, synchronize more attribute for the application user or user signature. We may want to add additional, you know, user attribute to this through the Edge AD Connect. So let's see how can we do this. If we go to the Active Directory users and computers, we select the view menu and click Advanced Features. Then we can go to the OU, we find a user like David Smith, I go to attribute editor, and then I want to set a www homepage, I set a www homepage to just uh, like this website, and then click OK, I want to synchronize this attribute to Azure AD Cloud. How can we do this? So if I click OK for now, and then I go to the Edge AD Connect. Then click the config, click uh, customize uh, synchronization options, and next, and then put Next, and next. Then we need to tick the box directory extension attribute sync and then click next. Then I have selected this one. Normally you go to the list and find this one. This is there are two options you can select before you this is a www homepage for group stream. But I just just want to sync the user, you know, attribute. I just in a user stream and click next. Click. Config. So after this completed, it will synchronize to Azure AD automatically. I just click exit. So let's wait for this to complete, and then we can go to the PowerShell. Normally, we want to connect to the Azure AD. So there are few commands. If we don't uh, use the, if we have not installed the Power AD, normally we need to. Uh, run this command first. Uh, execution policy remote sign and then import the module Azure AD. We get the module and then we connect, connect the module, and then we run this git dash Azure AD user 
FBI object ID display name and uh, user principal name. This will find the object ID for this, you know, like David Smith and the user principal name. And then I run this next command is the get ID user dash object ID. This object ID I copy from the command above. And then this is the last one I want to run get dash ID user extension space object ID this object ID and the name here so let's see what happens if I run this one now I just run again so this 8229 this object ID is for the David Smith if we go back We say David Smith this uh this is the object ID for David Smith which I copied from here because it shows all the user object ID display name and uh, user principal name. So I run this then I run the other command extension this one I want to see you know if the attribute has been synchronized to edge cloud or not. Just run it now. So you see this one for the David Smith, we see the extension www homepage is already synchronized to Azure AD. It shows this value at, you know, set up in the, uh, the Active Directory in our premise. Yeah, that's all I show you today, thanks.